guys, this is Craig Siegel from Codable, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a random word generator to your Xcode project. So the first thing you want to do is go to Xcode, and then once we've done that we want to go to create a new Xcode project, a single view application, and go next. And then after we've done that we want to call it random word. Go next, I'm going to save it onto my desktop. Okay, so after we've done that, we want to jump into our viewcontroller.h. First off, we want to create our bracket and go down. After this has been accomplished, we want to type in id outlet space ui label. And after we've done that, we want to do space star text view and then semicolon. Okay, so after this, we want to create our action. So we want to go dash, bracket open, IB action, bracket closed, and then random. We want to do semicolon, and we're done. Apart from the fact we just need to type that as a capital A. Okay, so that's all good, no errors, it's all correct, we're ready to go. So I'll just zoom in for you guys here so you can see that a little bit better. Okay, so now we're going to go to our viewcontroller.m and we're just going to create some space under the implementation. Okay, so now I'm going to do dash bracket open, IB action, bracket closed, random, and then we're going to do our bracket. We're going to create some space underneath, and then we're going to type in int space text equals rand, and then bracket open, bracket closed, and then we're going to do space percentage sign space 5 and then semicolon. Okay so basically this is the number of words we're gonna have. We're gonna have five. We can up that, we can make it less, it depends on how much how many words you want. So after that we're gonna type in switch space bracket open text bracket closed and then we're gonna do another bracket. <coughs> Excuse me, I have got a cough, so... <laughs> okay, so once we've done that, we need to type in case 0, and we're going to do semicolon, uh, colon, sorry, space text view dot text, and then space equals at, and we're going to do words, We can they can be as random as you want, they can be whatever you want, um, it really doesn't matter. Um, so, wait one minute, it seems we've got an error, okay, that will leave it for now, I think, mate, let's go back into our .h and see, ah, okay, I put a capital here, doesn't matter, we'll just have to change this to capital, there we go, okay, so after this, I'm going to do fruit, so for this I'm going to type in apple, and then close that with a speech mark and close it with a semicolon, after that, we can see that our errors have just gone up, gone just up there. Uh, we're going to do it again. We're going to type in uh, case one, and then do a colon. Okay, so you may be noticing why is it case zero up here? Why isn't it case one? Because surely it's our first word. Why isn't it case one? Why is it case zero? Well, for a lot of things in switches, you'll find this as well. When we get to switches. Um, switches will, especially, I think it's just Xcode in general, will relate zero, the number zero, to one. So instead of case, it should have been case one, it, you would have thought it would have been case one for your number one word, but it's case zero, because zero represents the number one in Xcode. Um, so look, I don't know why they've done that um, specifically, but that's what they do. They do it in switches as well, so you'll come across that. Okay, so after we've done that, we just need to do we need to enter and then we're going to type in text view dot text and then do space equals at speech marks and then for this fruit we'll do raspberry I think that's how you spell raspberry um, okay so after that we need to do our speech marks and then semicolon okay so now we're going to do case 2 and then colon. I'm going to do enter. 
I'm going to do text view dot text space equals speech at sorry speech marks and then we're going to have strawberry and then we're going to do the speech marks and do semicolon and then we're going to do case three and then colon enter again we're going to do type in text view once we've done that, we're going to do dot text, space equals space, at speech marks. For this one, we'll do pineapple, and then we'll do space, semicolon, speech marks, sorry, semicolon. Um, then we'll do case four, and then colon, and we'll do another space. There we go. So after we've done that, we need to do text, view, dot text, equals and then we'll do grapefruit so once we've done that we need to do speech marks semicolon okay so we've got no errors at the moment so it's looking all good we need break semicolon space and then default and then colon and you're going to break semicolon and then I think we're all good. We've got our two <coughs> brackets here. So that's looking great. So that's all good. We just need to go to our dot nib. I'm going to zoom up for you guys. I'm going to space this up. I click on this. I'm going to change this to white. Just make things a little bit clearer. Okay, guys. So once we've gone into our dot xib or nib, we need to just drag in our label and drag in our button. Once we've done this, we can uh, widen our label out. And what I'm just going to do is center it. I'm going to place this in the middle. And I'm going to type in um, press to generate. Generate. I hope I've spelled that right. OK. And if we just center this. Then we just need to connect the two by going here and just typing the connect view to the label and random to the button and typing in or touch, uh, pressing touch up inside. Once this is done, we need to just jump back into our dot m and we need to add in some breaks. So you then type in break semicolon and then break semicolon and just keep on doing this one for each each of your cases, semicolon, and we've got our break there. Um, so that's all good. Uh, now we can just run it. Okay, so you can type in generate. We can keep pressing generate, and it will run through all of our random words as you can see there. So I'll just zoom back into the code so you can uh, copy this. There you go. Okay, so this is a fantastic piece of code. You can use it for password generators. Um, you can play it for word memory generators, me word memory games, so you can generate a word. Um, so this is really useful. There's lots of other things you can use it for. Um, so yeah, the um, options are out there. So it's a great piece of code. I'll just switch back to .h so you can copy that. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, just zoom out. So thanks for listening. I'll see you later.